four. And one of the components is this about hiding my big one secret. I'm going to try to find a big fun image here, but yeah, you have to input that yourself. <laughs> so is it about hiding my big secret? No, it's not about hiding your big secret. It's actually about control. You ever people have you know, what they call private information and public information. Even public people have private information, which they actually try to you know keep separated from the public side. And I think it's actually not good to talk about hiding when you talk about encryption. Because hiding is not about the same thing as private. I have a lot of things that's private, but I don't try to actually hide them. I mean, I don't have webcam in my room always looking at me, or just observing every move I make. That, that's not because I try to hide what I do at, at, at my own home. It's simply because I see my own home as private. So, this control you have of your own information. First of all, how do you lose it? Well, you can lose it through by giving it away. And that's a very common way to get out information. So, Google is, is a key example here on email. You send your email, or actually other people send their emails to email servers. They have the emails, they actually see the email as theirs. It's not your emails, you have the right to read emails. You have the right to copy the emails, but emails on action of yours is theirs. So trying to control um, to keep the emails private is actually kind of impossible because they're not yours anymore. The same thing goes for most online sites. Um, Google Docs, good example, Facebook, Flickr, ever those sites, and most of those sites have rules that says you give information to us. And you get get some free do that some free web things. And the where of the cloud. <laughs> so what other ways can you be get to control away? Well, it can be taken away, of course. And of course, when you think about it, you think about either you know thieves in the dark. You know, airports and laptops and all that. And you have also you know, industrial inspections or, you know, I actually heard a few times about the university losing information because people ask to go and steal briefcases and death from researchers. And my own university is a small town for Gronaby. Had actually people from that's in our country actually spying on the researchers in there. It's not that common, but it's not that uncommon either. And of course, you have this nice thing called shared space in, you know, in a data center, a university computer lab, or when you actually you know, buy a rent VM computer somewhere. From a hosting provider or similar. Uh, the common expression is, uh, or people say, that, oh, my hosting provider is completely utterly secure because they're in a the nuclear bunker or room in the mountain or they're completely secure from all kinds of penetration and espionage and all that stuff. So where's the mouse? There's a small movie here relevant to this discussion. So yeah, if you share space, this shared space can be seen as one empty. And if anyone can see it, something as like, oh, it's this group of people, then you actually, you know, you don't have any rights beyond what they think is the group. And it could be a data center, it could be a house, it could be an apartment. It's all depend of who is looking and who is saying what. So, what is common answer why not encrypt them? Okay, one of the very common answer that I see online and on service done on this subject is that they say oh, my computer will be slow. Doesn't encryption, I mean, all those math and all these bits going from, from one side to the other, doesn't that really slow down everything? And the real answer is not really. Um, if you need to move like, I don't know, 100 megabytes per second to the server regularly, like every day, and have web service depending on what those 100 megabytes writing all the time. Yeah, you might get a bit slow computer. 
that's not really common. Maybe movie makers need to do that, but they don't have web, web tool to actually need to access that quickly, so I, I don't really know. It's the big thing with um, performance is CPU, and CPU don't tend to be the big issue nowadays. If you have a really, really slow CPU, and that is your biggest problem, okay, encryption won't help it. But if you buy, if you have a new computer or you know CPU, it's not the biggest problem in the world. This is not going to slow it down. So, is it hard to install? One step, and that's it. That is the basic install. Okay, this is the simple version, but it doesn't need to get much harder than this. So passwords, are they a the big problem? I mean, I don't like typing passwords too often. Well, are you doing it once already? Like, you know, logging into my computer already? Then you can just replace that step with encryption. So you get the same thing. You need to log in, you need to type in your password when you log in, and it works the same way as, you know, Windows login or whatever you use. Uh, servers have always been a problem because we want to reboot them and then you don't have to go into and climb into the server room which might be cold or it might not have all the keywords plugged in and, and typing in all those ser passwords on all the servers is not fun after a power outage or something similar. That is actually why we started this project. So. Uh, yes, quick notice. If you have a web web or mail server on your home, actually you should encrypt it. It should never be unencrypted because you are actually responsible for your users. Even if you're just yourself, you're responsible. Yeah, well, you're doing it yourself and you should have to think about your own privacy when you them, but otherwise, you should always try to protect your users. That is, you're not responsible for what they do, but you're responsible for keeping their data safe because you have taken on that responsibility. And if somebody takes the, your server for whatever reason, you should be able to confidently say that your user's data has not been compromised. You owe it to them. 